Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. To this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create this 2D lava lamp effect inside After it. So let's get started. Okay, guys. As always, let's start with the new composition and let's call this 2D lava lamp effect. Okay, okay, cool. I will go with full HD resolution, 24 frames per second, and let's go with maybe 10 seconds. We are not going to use 10 seconds, but yeah. It's good duration and let's go with background color white okay and i'm gonna hit okay and let's hit okay here now we have this empty composition so first let's add some shapes to this composition so i'm gonna go to toolbar and select this ellipse tool and i will go with this bluish color okay and you can copy this hex code if you want exact same color and i'm gonna hit okay and press hold shift on your keyboard and just drag and so we can keep the proportion of the ellipse like that and i'm gonna release the key and then press ctrl alt home on my keyboard to center this anchor point to the middle of this circle so let's press ctrl alt home and as you can see it is snapped to this anchor point to the middle of this shape and let's call this lava bubble one okay and now we have one so i'm gonna press p on my keyboard and here we can get this position properties and i'm gonna add a expression so you guys can copy this expression from link in the description okay and this is a wiggle loop expression and i'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and click on this position stopwatch icon and it will open the expression window and i'm gonna press ctrl v to paste that expression as you can see this is sub expression and i need six second loop so i will go to six second and then press and on my keyboard to in the composition at the uh, six second okay if you want a uh, more uh, loop you can just uh, give any duration here and right now i want a six second and i give loop time as six here okay and this is a frequency and this is amplitude you guys can just play with these uh, values and get some different uh, speed values okay and yeah now as you can see our ellipse is moving like this in the loop as you can see now i'm gonna just duplicate this one and then place somewhere around here and i will keep doing it to fill this composition also you can just press s to scale it down or scale it up and it will good to give some uh, randomness to this ellipse okay so it's not exact the same and i will give some different scale value and just select this and then press ctrl d to duplicate and i will keep doing this until i fill this composition and uh, i will speed this process up okay now that should be enough if you want more you can just uh, keep adding this ellipse okay and yeah looks pretty good and i'm gonna press ctrl a to select all and let's call close this up like that now we need to add some effect to this to get that uh, lava lamp effect so i'm gonna create a new adjustment layer so right click new and adjustment layer like that and i'm gonna call this liquid so this is will be our liquid effect so i'm gonna go to effect and preset if you don't see this effect and preset box you can go to windows and here you will find this effect and preset or you just you can just press ctrl 5 on your keyboard to bring this properties okay and i'm gonna search for fast box blocker. if you have an older version of update you can press uh i think it's called box blur i'm not sure and i'm gonna apply it let's give some blur radius so i'm gonna set this to 20 and let's uh, reduce it iteration to one okay i will keep the blue dimension to horizontal and vertical and let's keep the repeat edge pixel switch on okay now we need to uh, add some matte effect so i'm gonna go to effect and preset and search for simple choker effect and as you can see in the matte option you can find this simple choker and i'm gonna apply this to this adjustment layer so we can increase the simple choker i recommend you to uh, use xsm fast box blur uh, radius value so we have 20 so i will also give a 20 for the choke mat okay and let's give a 20 as you can see it will crunch the value of the blur and it will give us this liquid effect xsm like the uh, lava lamp okay and as you can see it also loop if you want a uh, more uh, bubbles you can just duplicate and and then in scale this up something like this and yeah now if you see this edge as you can see we have this white edge and i will show you how to fix it 
uh, before that we need to add some different effect so if you, as you can see all these have exact same shapes we need to add some variety so i'm gonna add a new adjustment layer and let's go this displace and i'm gonna go to effect and preset and search for turbulence displace effect and i'm gonna apply it here and as you can see it too much right now so i'm gonna set the amount to 20 and let's also animate the evolution so let's add the same uh, expression which we add to the lava bubbles so i'm gonna select this one uh, lava bubble and press e double times so it will open the expression or you can just open this and go to transform position okay and here you will find this expression and then just copy this or you can just go here and then right click and then click this copy expression only okay this uh, will work so let's go to displace and here you will find this evolution and i'm gonna just hold alt on my keyboard and click on this stopwatch icon and it will bring this evolution and i'm gonna press ctrl v to paste the expression like that and as you can see now we have this different displacement to the lava bubbles as you can see here you can also add a gradient effect so right click new adjustment layer and i'm gonna call this gradient Let's go to effect and preset and search for four color gradient. This one, and let's apply it. As you can see, you can give, uh, you can just add some different color values here. And I will give uh, that bluish color. I think I like that. Like this, I will copy excess same color and then I will change it a bit to give some random color values like this. I recommend you guys just play with the colors. Now let's pick this white line here. It's real easy. We need to just uh, pre-compose this and then scale this up. So I will select all these layers or you can press Ctrl A on your keyboard. Select all these layers and then right click and then select this pre-compose and I'm going to call this lava lamp effect. And make sure you select this move all attributes into a new composition and hit OK. Now we have this new composition and we can just select this composition and then press S on your keyboard and then scale it until it uh, remove from the composition as you can see and uh, yeah that's uh, easy fix now you can also add a new solid and then solid background you can give a different color if you want here and uh, if you want black color you can give a black color or i recommend you guys to just play with the colors of this background and i will stick with the white color so i'm gonna press ctrl shift y to bring this solid settings and i will give a white color again okay and uh let's call this eg and that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this you can easy uh 2d lava effect and i hope you guys uh, like this technique and if you have any question please let me know down below in the comment section as always thank you so much for all of my practice supporters you guys are awesome and yeah i wish you guys in the next one peace